so once the installation is finished so let me check the ip address of my my of my machine my ubuntu server machine we type the command if config and as you can see it is this is our ip address so if we try to switch to the root user we enter our password then we switch to the root user you can check here then git change the, the current directory ls cd2 otc clear and list all the directories or the folder that's in this directory and if, if it is hard to read that we just use, we should use pipes then type more 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 right then clear you can check our current directory you can cd to home ubuntu user then we can create file ls you can delete it right you can do a lot of things so stay tuned for the next tutorials that will cover both of windows server and ubuntu where i will configure a bunch of servers either on windows server or on ubuntu on, on linux or in uh, in the linux distribution will is ubuntu i will configure samba nfs ftp danish and DSCP and on the Windows server I'm going to configure DSCP DNS and the active director so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive all my new tutorials on Ubuntu and on Windows server together we are going to create insane labs where I will show you a bunch of things the entire things about Ubuntu and Windows. I will share with you commands, the most useful command and most used commands. So stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to share the videos with your friends. Thank you for watching.